Welcome to Brief Crypto. Today is Thursday, May 4th, and today's video is for entertainment only. Looking at Bitcoin's next move based on past cycles, but first let's look at the market on CryptoBubbles.com. Red day according to CryptoBubbles Top 100 Tokens. Of course, Pepe still moving big, up 51.4% for the day and 525% for the week. I'm still holding on to the small amount I have of Pepe. think it could still do a little better and uh, but it has moved up a lot so caspa up 7.1 complex up 4.8 woo up 4.7 icp up 2.8 trust wallet up 2.8 casper up 2.6 some of the red bubble stacks down 4.7 optimism down 3.7 una said leo down 3.6 rocket pool down 2.9 avalanche down 1.3 injective down 2 Point five, So pretty flat overall, other than the few big bubbles here. Caspa up 7.3, Pepe up 51.5, and Complex 0.9. Woo up 4.9. So green, or excuse me, red day for crypto. Hours red as well. Pepe's come down a little bit. Caspa as well. Uh, so it's turned down just barely. Very small amounts here. 1%, less than 1%, but red day for crypto. Bitcoin is, is in this uh, narrowing wedge and could be breaking out of this pretty soon. And, and a lot, there's a lot of predictions that it'll break to the upside. And we're going to look at some of the articles related to that. We still haven't seen any increase in volume. Volume still remains very low. You can see we'd like to see it more in this neighborhood when the move does occur. But right now, Bitcoin's at 28,831. Looking at this four hour chart on tradingview.com in this narrowing wedge and so looking at cryptopotato.com bitcoin's next target stands near 36,000, according to matrix port data bitcoin's trajectory has been constricted in a narrowing wedge since mid-april but an upside break could be in the offing a breakout could lead to a 6100 point move higher in the bitcoin price which establishes a target of 35 thousand to thirty six thousand according to this article on cryptopotato.com so looking back at the fibonacci this is uh looking at this uh, uh gray is the fractal from having one and the yellow is the fractal from having two coming from their respective lows and you can see that both of those retrace to the golden pocket coming off their high to their low their bit their bitcoin high for the halving cycle they're having post peak low for their cycle. They both got up to the Fibonacci golden pocket for, in that retracement from this swing high down to this swing low uh, before the next having event. So for having three, having two, well before the having two event, and for having one closer to the actual having event for, or in, in that case, would be having two. And so this article talks about 35 to 36,000. And you can see if we follow the fractals that we'd be hitting that by late May if we follow having two or mid-September if we follow having one fractal. You can see we've been running pretty much in line with both the fractals been above both of them for a while. We're coming back in between them. As we've talked about on the Bitcoin box chart, and that shows up on the monthly as well, of course. And so we're going to be looking for a retracement well above this 35 to 36,000 before the halving event, having four expected in late April 2024. We're expecting to be closer up to 50,000 if we follow the past cycles and the past fractals. And so I think this 35 to 36 is actually very conservative. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Looking at further news articles on CryptoNewsFlash.com, Pepe skyrockets and outperforms Doge and SHIB with this massive new feature. More than 77% of, Pe of Pepe coins, 6.7 million liquidations in the past 24 hours were short traders. The meme coin enjoys older base of more than 83,500 83, holders with most Dogecoin and Shiba Inu holders diversifying into Pepe. And I think that's all that I was looking at on this. So Pepe continues to skyrocket. 
currently outperforming Doge and Shiba. Last article on Cointelegraph.com, how are Bitcoin options traders positioning for the U.S. banking crisis? The total crypto market cap has been ranging sideways, but Bitcoin derivatives markets indicate pro traders don't expect a major price correction. And so the SEC's crackdown could backfire. The latest decision has been favorable to Coinbase. The court has instructed the SEC to clarify security rules for digital assets within 10 days. And so a 70 put to call ratio indicates that put option in open interest lags the more bullish calls. So um, so put calls, people betting that it's going to go down on options are are, uh, more bullish at the moment. So the put to call ratio is 70 would say that uh, the put op option open interest lags bullish calls. So bearish, but we're down in the 0.45 to the 0.5. And so we are quite bullish in terms of the ratio of what's who calls or the put to call ratio. And so that is another thing that indicates that Bitcoin could be going up into this 36,000 range. So there's a lot of things from the past, what's going on with options uh, that indicate we could be going up out of this um, narrowing wedge. Thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, and share it with others. Today's video is for entertainment and education purposes only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.